welcome to my car as well as my college campus insane parking lot. Um, yeah, I'm about to head to class, but today is a different kind of day. It is a hectic one for sure. I'm gonna go to class and then I got the awesome opportunity that I'll probably talk more about later to be on a podcast um, talking all about fitness and things like that and social media and all of that fun stuff that a lot of you guys ask me about anyways. So if you would like to um, listen to the podcast, it is now available once this vlog goes up and you can see it on iTunes and Google Play but I'm just really excited that I got the opportunity and that the girl asked me um, if I wanted to be on her little podcast so I'm really excited I'll talk more about it later so I'm not late to class but yeah wish me luck in class yay all right guys I'm back from class and I'm on my way to the acai place and we're going to north side shack and if you follow me or if you see my other Instagrams then you know exactly where I'm going all right I am at a stoplight um so I'm going to uh, north side shack and we're gonna get acai bowls and if you saw my previous vlog with Kaylee um, the fitness blogger then you know where that is or what that is and they're so so good and I work with them through Instagram sometimes so hopefully we can um, get some acai and and have a fun time and just kind of talk before we do our podcast so a little bit more about today I got asked um, by the girl named Helen and she actually started her own um, blog I think a while ago it's called shred before you wed and I think that's so cute she's actually getting married pretty soon so she's all about health fitness and nutrition and those are things that I am just kind of starting to get a lot better at and learn more about I'm totally not a nutritionist or anything like that but I love hearing nutrition um, bloggers and their side and point of view and a lot of feedback from them which is awesome that she even thought of me for an interview the podcast that I'm going to be on is called fit girl radio so it should be there and if you follow me on Instagram I will post about it on Instagram as well and yeah if I can link it down below I'll link that as well but I think we're just going to talk about um, being on social media, fitness, um, things that we really enjoy eating that are um, healthy and good for you and also I think talking about healthy fats because I think that is um, definitely important when kind of implementing that into your diet. A lot of people are kind of afraid of the word fat but honestly healthy fats are, are so so good for you especially when they are full of omega-3s to keep you full and all that but anyways uh, that's just kind of the gist of the podcast so we'll see how it goes. I'm sure she's going to be so nice and another fitness blogger is going to be there as well so she'll she'll be talking about that so we're going to do the acai first and then we're going to drive to the warehouse where we'll be recording the podcast and that should be really fun i will try and vlog and record she said that's totally fine um if i vlog and record she actually said she was like binge watching my youtube videos the other day which i was like that's such an honor because but it's also kind of awkward. I feel like I'm awkward in a lot of videos, which is funny when people text me and they tell me, oh my gosh, I just watched your videos. I'm like, oh no. Like that's, I don't know. That's kind of weird to me sometimes because I'm like just now getting the hang of posting kind of more regularly. So yeah, I'm on my way there right now and I will talk to you guys later if there's any updates or anything. So yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else that I could possibly say about today but I don't think so so I hope you guys um, like following along our little health and fitness journey today except for it's not really too much of a journey we're just kind of talking about stuff but hopefully it'll be fun maybe I'll even vlog tomorrow because I have an exciting shoot tomorrow well it's not like crazy or anything but it's for lulus.com and I'm gonna be with Rachel which I love so much and I miss her and I miss her photography it's been a while I feel like we usually shoot like once or twice a month and lately we haven't we've been so busy so we're like okay we need to shoot we need to just have like a fun um, like spring shoe and just get creative with it so maybe I'll vlog that tomorrow but anyways let's go get some acai bye <laughs> Alright guys, so we had our little acai date. I'm here with Kaylee again. This is Helen. Oh my goodness. Hi. I can't even talk. <laughs> I've had too much coffee today, you guys. We just got coffee at Better Buzz. And um, this is Helen, and she is the like starter and creator of um, Shred Before You Wed. So she has a blog, she has a website. So I'll link that down below, of course. And Kaylee's information, because you know, they're all about that fitness. Oh, she is again. <laughs> um, so yeah, and we're gonna actually go and record the fitness girl or the fit girl radio podcast which I talked about on my Instagram. Um, if you guys Super follow exciting. me there, I'm sure you saw it. 
Um, so we're gonna go record and I'll probably like update you guys when we get there. Do you want to say anything else about the podcast or anything? Or? Um, I don't know. I'm just excited to talk like wellness and nutrition and yeah. fitness with these girls. So yeah. it's gonna be really fun. And it's a lot of questions that you guys ask me anyways. So definitely check it out. I'll have that link down below if I can do that. It'll be on Perfect. iTunes and all about social media and fitness. Yay! Yay! <laughs> as far as like social media stuff goes, like how you got started in it and um why you like social media maybe like other accounts you follow or people you've met like hi guys <laughs> um i'm mainly on social media as an influencer a collaborator um i model for a couple companies and i love writing blog posts as well um, i've done a couple for american eagle which is just such an awesome company and i'm finally kind of reaching out into the more um, health and fitness side of that so i've done active wear for companies um, for us girls who just kind of want more motivation or easier workouts to do at home and um, you know, easy things that we can do throughout our day, a little bit more healthy or just kind of things like that. So cool. Um, we'll just kind of get right into it. I definitely want to talk to these girls about like a lot of different things, but, um, let's start off with fitness just because just talking like type styles of workouts, types of workouts. Like what do you guys like to do on it? Yeah. I love pole vaulting. I was actually, I'm um, supposed to go to college for pole vaulting, but my senior, but you learn what kind of workouts? Honestly, I mean, I love doing the high intensity workouts. It really, I've noticed it just really boosts your metabolism and not only, you know, while you're of course getting your heart rate up during the workout, but also, you know, throughout the day, especially if you're doing it in the morning. And I think um, sometimes we do get comfortable like, oh, we just go to spin class. I'll just go to this, um, you know, one little class and that'll be it. But then our bodies, you know, get used to that. And I think yeah. really warming up, especially with like jumping lunges and things that really warm up your legs first, kind of get your heart rate going. And yeah. I just really like that too but I do also like incorporating weights and stuff I was a cheerleader um, all throughout high school mm -hmm. on varsity so I'm like used to you know like lifting or um, just really toning my muscles that way so I kind of had to incorporate ways like once I graduated um, I was also a dancer too so kind of like finding ways to really tone up those small muscles yeah. um, so I do like Pilates class sometimes but of course I never want to kind of get into the routine of just doing that class I'll you know, continue running one day or doing a high intensity yeah. workout. So I think that's the biggest thing for a lot of people is like they get stuck in like I love going to this class at totally. this time, like this many days a week, and then they like plateau and it's You're like, like why is this not results? working? Yeah. 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 So I think that's really awesome that you guys have like I don't know different ways to mix up. I also I don't understand people how they don't get bored. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because that's my big thing too. I have yeah, to people. constantly change it up, or else like I just get over it. I changed in the past like year is the sugar like yes, content. Totally. And I think being like really um, mindful of how many grams of sugar and yes. things is like. Like so you glad actually you said yes. that about sugar because um like I mean everyone you know grabs a green juice and they think it's so healthy and oh there's gosh. naked juices nobody's looking on the back to see the 28 grams of sugar yeah and I actually had um, a model like direct message me like hey like is that I've heard good things about this juice is it good and I was like well how much sugar is in it and yeah. she said does that matter and so not a lot of people mm -hmm. well, are because, aware of that yeah. and then that's just going in your body I know and and even it's when it's natural sugar too mm -hmm. natural sugar you are still, still spiking your blood sugar level that's it. yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you for like college budget? Yeah, I guess we'll talk from the college standpoint of us girls who, you know, we think it's really expensive or just yeah, anybody out there. Schedule wise. Yeah, too. exactly. So I have found actually this year um, or yeah, this new year and stuff I was like well I'm kind of like spending money here and there and sure it's like healthy foods but what can I do at home and stuff so I'm actually gonna have a video out on this like for college tips and fitness if you guys want to follow me. Oh. Kind of, um, so I, I kind of talk about in the video like, really kind of knowing your schedule throughout the day. So I know on like Mondays and Wednesdays and there all day I don't want to have to go to the cafeteria and like be tempted by their french fries and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. So actually um, I'm glad you said Costco too because they have this frozen packet of organic chicken. It's all cut up in seasons. Um, defrost that and make that and then have it cool down and then put it on top of a really really big salad of mm -hmm. spinach um you know tomatoes everything in there and then put it in my free or my fridge the next morning all i have to do is you know take it out and then yeah. I that's cool that like i wish i would have done this years ago like i wish <laughs> yeah. i would have figured this all out like it's while so i was hard, in college because right? i think back and i'm like i was a four-year athlete in college like if i would have eaten better i think about that all 
happens yeah. to be in the calf because I lived on campus. Exactly, like, like every it's year. there, like, hello. Yeah, yeah. and it's not even like I, you know, would try to make salads and that kind of thing. And like, we had a pretty good calf, but it's like, there's always dessert available. Yeah. Like, who's not gonna grab Yeah, the thing is you can have the salad there. there, but then also everything else. Yeah, and then like, so. just, yeah. um. I, don't, I think, well, I guess I'll like Yeah, your hair's short. gorgeous. <laughs> <Thank so. you. laughs> well, I was, I think, I think I was like worried um, when I was like going into modeling and shooting a lot, cause I was styling my hair all the time, putting heat on it. Yeah. It was just really, really hard on my hair. Um, so I came to the point where I'm like, okay, well, what can I do? And I think coconut oil is such a key, like, for a lot of girls, like whether it's you know using it on your face to take off your makeup or mm -hmm. doing a hair mask. So I actually, I'll just put it on my ends and I did this last night and then I'll wrap it up. You can even sleep on it if you want. Usually I just do like an hour and a half, like to two hours and mm -hmm. I was doing my homework. I had it up in coconut oil and then, you know, like dinner and like all that stuff. And then you wash it out and you shampoo twice and yeah. it's just really, really conditioning. Either people that are like just starting to date, like they'll give up a lot of their whether it's like free time or fitness time or like friend yeah. time to hang out with like this now person mm -hmm. that like they like or whatever. Any like date ideas or like fit date things that you guys like to do that? Yeah, um, I love I love this question because I think it's really kind of important like if you do have that passion for health and fitness to implement it into your relationship because it can't it can't really hurt it even if he um, like isn't really into it or anything it can be such a good um, bonding time and you know date idea like you said but we really like to go um, hiking and stuff we'll the hike to Potato Chip Rock because he, uh -huh. he's over there and he has two dogs and we'll take them out on a run um, and things like that where you can um, you know be hiking and kind of talking and really you know working out and stuff yeah I think can really build your relationship and then we'll sometimes you know go to the farmers market after or have like because then you're in the mentality of like doing something healthy right. instead of having that cute date night and ice cream you know type yeah, thing totally. you can still go out and um, have a healthy choice aside from also working out because then you're kind of both on the same page so. yeah cool I think, yeah. I think um, Matt and I love the, the yeah. hikes too yeah. it's crazy how much hiking how good it is for your relationship. Matt yes. and I have talked through some of our like deepest conversations. I never when expected we had, it. Like yes. I had like I ended up like crying, crying before, cool. like yeah. in a good way. In a good yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Like, like, like releasing your endorphins, and you're just like, oh, okay, like I just really yeah. need to. You know, I mean, talk. the week is so. Yeah. All right, guys, we're done. Yay! Yay. All done. Don't forget to. I know we did. It was so fun. <laughs> we talked literally about everything, so you guys have to check it out later. So yay! Oh, you're gonna so screenshot it. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home now, and I had such a fun time. Thank you to Helen for even letting me be on the podcast. I've never done anything like that before, so that was definitely a different experience and a cool one. Hopefully, I didn't seem too awkward on the podcast, but I think it went well. I'll link it down below. Hopefully, you guys can check that out if you'd like. I talk a lot about a lot of things that you guys ask me, um, whether that's being a college student and being healthy or anything about my hair, how I'm you know keeping my hair healthy in between shooting all the time and putting a lot of heat damage on it so we did talk about a lot even relationships and how to implement being fit and healthy and active in your relationships as well um, with your boyfriends or even just your friends so I'm really excited <laughs> um, yeah I'll talk to you guys in my next video unless I do end up vlogging tomorrow I guess we'll find out when I edit this so I'll see you in the next clip for tomorrow or I will see you in my next video bye Woo!